T.I. must stand for too involved and too intrusive. T.I. has claimed he brings his daughter to the doctor every year to check that her hymen is intact. T.I. sparked controversy by revealing that he accompanies his 18-year-old daughter, Deja, to the gynecologist for her annual checkup to ensure that she is still a virgin. T.I. made an admission during an appearance on the podcast, Ladies Like Us, with Nazim and Nadia. Kids, man, in hindsight, looking back, they always thank their parents for not allowing them to damage themselves as much as they yeah, could have. A thousand percent. Yeah, I agree. I had strict parents Ooh. and I hated it. I was the first one. They were so strict with me. But looking back, there are things I'm like, you, you could have let me go to the dance. The know, prom. I wasn't, well, wasn't, wasn't going to have sex on the dance floor. Right. Like, yeah. My God. No, of course not. The back seat is the On the way home. I was a virgin, okay? <laughs> But, you know... It's... I heard about what girls who say they virgins. Like what they... <laughs> I, I you guys I have swear, I contingencies. Swear. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> like what? There are contingencies and alternative routes. Oh, Lord. So have you had the sex talk with your daughters? How about we go... <laughs> Which, by the way, your daughters are so beautiful. Yeah, they're so beautiful. So, um, so much. I'm sure you have your hands full. And, like, yeah, another one's absolutely. 18, so she definitely knows oh, about sex. See, this but is I'm just the wait, thing. Deja, right? She's 18, yes, right? Deja's yes, Deja's 18. Just graduated high school now, and she's uh, attending her first year of college, Ooh. figuring it out for herself. Uh, and yes, not only have we had the conversation, <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I'm done with you right now. So, anyway, uh, do you go with her? She's a prisoner. Uh, yes, I go with her. <laughs> Somebody check on Deja. I go with her. <laughs> She's a prisoner. <laughs> so let me tell you, right? So, so this is one time oh, we go. No. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday. And this is what we do. Like, you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And we go and check her hymen after. Then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, <laughs> she's enjoying her gifts. <laughs> I put a sticky note on the dope. Got no. <laughs> Tomorrow, nine thirty. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and so, so look, right? So we'll go. You know what I mean? We'll go and and uh, we sit down. We we'll sit down, and the doctor will come and talk. And you know, the doctors maintain a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you know, sir, I have to. You know, in order for me to share information, I say, Daisy, they want you to sign this. <laughs> So we can uh, share information. Do you have anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, and so then, right? Then they come and say, okay, uh, well, I just want, I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Right. Like, Bike riding, uh -huh. really? athletics, horseback riding. That's aggressive. Uh, <laughs> that is aggressive and, riding. You know, just right. other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can, no. Oh, so, <laughs> there you so go. I say, You're like, Sorry, I say, look, I say, look, doc. I say, look, doc. She's not. <laughs> She don't ride no horses, she don't ride no bikes, she don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. And give me back my results. Oh, Expeditiously. No. Expeditiously. But I will, you know, I will say as of my 18th birthday, the hymen is still Deja, you are an angel. You know what you're doing? You're creating men to be vultures as they're like, no, no. no. <laughs> That's all right. I'll tell like, you another story. There's no virgins left. I'll tell you another story. <laughs> What's a virgin? I, man, they're no fun. Who wants a virgin? His words were met with negative feedback, including tweets that called the ATL rapper possessive and controlling. It appears that Deja is in agreement, according to tweets that she liked on her account. T.I. wanted to keep tabs on the sexual activity of the woman in his life, doesn't stop at Deja, but also extends to his wife, Tiny. 
In a recent episode of T.I.'s podcast, he told Tiny that he was old sex. Give you sex and do everything. Give you, you sex. Yeah. What you mean? Give you, you sex. Give you. Man, that's in the contract, man. That come I with mean, it. I mean, make sure you're Ain't no giving pleased. Me nothing. See, that's the thing now. Make sure you're pleased whenever you, uh, you but, know. See, you can't be rationing out stuff talking about what you're going to give nobody because, you know, what's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. Yeah, but so I, that means that little thing you no... got, that little sex box you got is half mine. Yeah, so you pick which side you want and want that's you. yours. And then I'm the rest of it is mine. You know what I'm saying? We can split right down the middle of the... What, the, what they call it? The, uh, the, 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 is it the, uv, the uvula? What? 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 The, the uvula? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the lip, ain't it? That's, the, that's who? The, the labia. Labia. Oh, the labia. Labia, oh, labia is the lip. <laughs> what the, okay, so so we got the clitoris, the labia, uh-huh. and it's the, the uvula. What is it? The uvula? Uvula? Ah, I can't remember. Damn, well, that, that damn anatomy. But, <laughs> but what know, I'm saying woman, is it's half mine. Yeah, but a woman that you heard of. And my half is get, on the inside, but so you I'm going heard in there that again. people that get married, <laughs> half of the people that get married, they don't even have sex anymore, a lot of them. Well, that's a bum deal they got. And that's Jeez. crazy to me. That is, I'm talking about. You know, because those are one of the things that you should always want to do for your man. Nah, but well, wait, see, you can't just talk about for your man. And for yourself, but I'm saying a lot of times the man, you know, they wake up like that, they go to sleep sometimes yeah. like that, you know, uh-huh. you got to fi- get them their fix. Yeah, that's a, absolutely. And you got to be willing to. Some, some Ain't no willing. No, when some are not say, like, do, no, it's, no. That is the, the you, you've signed a verbal contract, we've had a verbal commitment now, then we have witnesses, there's a priest here, We and we have a verbal commitment that... But what about a verbal commitment? Apparently the rules are different for the couple's 15-year-old son. King told his parents that he is sexually active and T.I. did it blink an eye. King, you having sex? That's what he's saying. Oh, King, that told on himself. You just broke your mama hard. You that went gay? Them hugs is your innocence. Yeah, you see what he done did? I don't want any of my children to have sex before. It's time for them, but who's to say when it's time? However, I will definitely feel different about a boy than I will about a girl. And that's just the God's